starts right now. Hello, everybody. I'm Judy Sue. Good yeah. morning, everybody. I'm Judy Sue. Thank you for joining us. It is Thursday morning and another cold one. We do start tonight with President Obama's return to Springfield. Investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy has late breaking details on how El Chapo was finally caught. Chuck. He's still in custody. What a development, Chuck. Thank right, you. Chuck. And now a story that is new tonight at 6 o'clock. In a very unusual move, the Cook County Democratic Party will reopen the slating process for the March primary. Welcome back, everybody. A new global study shows mortality rates for children are dropping. Here's another incredible story. A Kansas police chief comes up on a disturbing scene, and he makes a fiery rescue. And still ahead on Eyewitness News this afternoon, she weighed less than a pound at birth, but now this healthy baby is going home. From ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Mayor Rahm Emanuel addressing the entire city council amidst a firestorm of controversy surrounding the crisis with the Chicago Police Department. He opened the speech by saying Chicago is facing a defining moment on truth, justice, and race. Job. Yes, you know, there are growing calls for you to resign. The Sun-Times just came out with their editorial this morning. I'm going to show everybody if you can see it. That's the headline right there. What is your reaction to that? Should you resign? Will you resign? Many experts who study law enforcement policies have said mm -hmm. that this has got to be the toughest police chief job in the country right now. Local leaders are calling Chicago a city in crisis. Do you agree with those assessments? Now we're going to check weather for you. Snow coming our way. Jerry is standing by. Feels pretty good out there right now. We have Two New Jersey state troopers come to the rescue when a woman goes into labor on the Garden State Parkway. What are the chances of that happening? Judy? I don't know. Why do people have babies what on the, the expressway? Yeah, right. <laughs> Remember? It's bringing back uh -huh. memories. Yes. Okay. Sports up next. Remember that story, but could, could, you, could you tell it again? It's that's my claim to fame right yeah <laughs> national national headlines this is baby ike over here he was one born on the expressway we didn't make it to the uh, hospital in time can you believe he just turned five unbelievable does he know the story hey aj aj do you know that you were born on the expressway <laughs> <laughs> i don't think so it's kind of exciting i have to say all the kids are probably waking up going yes finally there's snow outside <laughs> there's there's not a lot though. not a lot so on top of the snow of course now we're talking about the wind chill a big factor this morning it is cold out if you have to do any walking or driving outside the conditions are still very treacherous this is the first one-on-one -on -one television interview for diana rauner since her husband became the 42nd governor of illinois she admits she doesn't quite know her way around springfield or the capitol building but she is clear on her priorities as Illinois' first lady. Keeping Bruce together. What has been the biggest challenge so far in the last month? Thank you for joining us. We are outside on State Street for a little bit, enjoying the humidity. Yeah. It's a little humid out here. Right. Just a few bugs, right. but just weak. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. In our special Made in Chicago Land, we take you behind the scenes where every Affy Tapple is still made right here. For over 60 years, Affy Tapple has rolled out this Chicago favorite, billed as the original caramel apple. I put on the hairnet and took a hands-on look at how they are made. Let me tell you, keeping up the pace and packing those apples may be the hardest part. Remember, 10 million apples a year, and most of it all cranked out right before Halloween. This crowd here has been so patient, waiting for the parade to kick off. They've been here since about 7, 8 o'clock this morning. Let me walk you down and introduce you to a few folks who are gathered here. Just a few of, you know, the hundreds of thousands. We're just about a couple miles away from the United Center. Soon, you guys, soon. It's going to come down. Ronald Kathy, back to you. Also, Chinese New Year today. Mm -hmm. Try that one. I don't know about that. I don't know what you're trying to see. your weather. What did you just say? That meant Happy New Year. Okay. Sha <laughs> Sha. Oh, very good. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yes. Okay. I know see, so she got something for me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Broken hearted can purge their homes of bad memories while helping out others. And you don't even have to listen to any Taylor Swift songs. That's right. And if you want your stuff back, go buy it back. <laughs> that's right? right. That's exactly. The, that's the whole tagline. idea. Yeah. And that's it for Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. For Jim Rose and Jerry Taft, I'm Judy Sue. Kimmel up next, Jennifer Lopez at ABC's The Bachelor, Ben Higgins. Remember, you can find us 24-7 at abc7chicago.com. Have a great weekend. Enjoy.